Let's get physical. December 18th until the 22nd and December 11th until the 15th. Yeah, it's a double week. I'm back in 90% health. Sorry I missed last week. Only the second time I've missed an episode and that one was almost exactly the same time last year. Uh, yeah, I had the flu pretty bad and uh, I got better but then my wife got it, which as a parent, absolute nightmare. But yeah, I'm going to go through this one quickly, guys. Sorry to ruin Christmas for you. Hammer Watch 2 Chronicles Edition was the main one last week. This is different to the Epics of Hammer Watch physical release that Strictly Limited Games did, although there is a one game crossover between the two. This release includes the first Hammer Watch game, but not Heroes of Hammer Watch. Instead, it has a brand new game, Hammer Watch 2. I spent 10 minutes trying to figure out the difference. Thank you for wasting my time. But either way, these are both good games if you like old school PC stuff, like maybe Diablo, stuff like that. While the first one is highly rated, the second has been lambasted for technical issues and bugs, which is not surprising. Look at that Modus logo on the box. Have they ever released a game that isn't a technical disaster? Quality control means nothing to those guys. And our executive producers Brent McLean, Precision Plague, Robotech and Totally Grateful have chosen this as their pick of the week. And if you want it or any of the retail releases that I feature in this episode, please consider using the links in the description you can purchase from VGP. It's a fantastic way to support us. They have good prices and cheap Canadian money, cheap shipping, especially to the US, and even free shipping if you purchase over 80 Canadian bucks. And they still have lots of discounts going on until the new year. Plus, if you purchase something with our link, then each week you will be put into a draw with the chance of winning a $10 discount coupon. And uh, last week's winner was Kevin S. And this week's winner is Tapung W. Congratulations to both of you. And thank you ever so much for your support. You should get an email from VGP if you haven't already. North America is also getting some belated releases that Europe already has, like Formula Retro Racing World Tour, Trains Valley Collection, Wild Shade Unicorn Champions, and that's it. It's the end of the year, guys. Christmas is coming. Nobody wants to earn money. So, we're going into the low prints. Etora is up for pre-order at Red Art Games right now. This is a beautiful 2D platformer, like Drop Dead Gorgeous. What a stunning game this is. You are the last human alive and you are on the search for knowledge about your past. What happened to everyone? Well, you can find out if you play this for 10 hours, which I think is a pretty decent length for a game of this type. Usually they give up after about 4 hours because their bank account is starting to sound quite hollow. But yeah, you can order the Deluxe Edition from Red Art Games' website and get 10% off with the code SWATCH10. There is even a North American version which you can grab from Video Games Plus with the links below and, and that has immediate free shipping, no need to add anything which is a fantastic, gorgeous cover art as well, go grab it. And our executive producer Offone has chosen this as his pick of the week. Saturnalia is from Limited Run Games this week. This is a third person survival horror game just to get you in the mood for Christmas. Actually, it's quite smart of them since you'll get this just in time for Halloween next year. There are four characters to play as in a village that's full of weird cults, just like they often are. My mother always used to say, villages are all full of rich cults. At least it sounded like cults. She never liked them. Anyways, you can pre-order this on Friday, I think. Devil Engine is up for pre-order from Limited Run Games. Yeah, I mentioned this, uh, there were rumours about it happening and it's been out in Japan for a month or so and you know what, you are better off with the Japanese version for a few reasons. Firstly, the Japanese version is cheaper. Secondly, it has better artwork. I mean, Limited Runs just looks like it's been in a shop window for the past 20 years and has sun fade. Also, so far as, as when I wrote this like two weeks ago, the limited run version, there seems to be no mention of it including the second game. The Japanese version has an extra shooter on there called 1993 Shenandoah. If limited runs version does include this, then they are idiots for not talking about it. But yeah, the Japanese version is better. I pop links down below for that. And our executive producer Alex M has chosen this as his pick of the week. 
All right, we're heading into the import section, Play Asia Territory. Yeah, if you want to import any of the games shown here, then please consider using the Play Asia links below. It's a fantastic way to support us. Plus, in return, you can use our dying discount code, SWTV23. It's going to die, guys. It's going to die. It's like a lame dog that you take into the vet. Make the most of it. Give it a cuddle before you inject the needle. Trigger Heart Exalica was the big one last week, especially if you're a fan of shooters and especially if you're a fan of the Dreamcast because this was a Dreamcast shooter. It was actually the second to last Dreamcast game released officially. Yes, this game came out officially on the Dreamcast in 2007. The PlayStation 3 was out in Japan and the Dreamcast was still getting the occasional release. What a legend. This is a really awesome vertical shooter, one that's often forgotten about. It probably does not have English support from what I'm aware, but most of the menus and subtitles are in English anyway, so you can easily play it and you can enjoy it. Football Manager 2024 Touch released in Asian regions last week. Take your managerial career on the go and perhaps do the impossible. Make Sheffield Wednesday actually be able to win a game and not be bottom of the championship. Do it for me, guys. Do it for me, okay? Make me feel better. This is following on from last year, which also got an Asian English release, and it's massively obscure now. I think this will be less so since it is getting a Japanese release earlier next year. But still, it looks to be the best version of the portable game as of yet, and it does have English. Lovely! And of course, it's already sold out. And our executive producers, Parsnip Coffee and Issa, have chosen this as their pick of the week. Cosmo Dreamer and Like Dreamer Double D Pack should be sent out this week via Play Asia. This is a double pack of excellent shooters marred by some hilariously bad artwork. Or maybe you're into airbags, I don't know. Do you go around crashing cars just to get suffocated in one? Well, this would definitely be the perfect game for you. As I said, they are really good shooters, so you should probably pick them up. And uh, yeah, last time I checked, the limited edition was super low on stock, so that will not last long. And our executive producer, Instacritic, has chosen this as his pick of the week. The Curse of Kudan is a Yuri VN. I think these are catching up with Otomi Gaze at the moment, which is cool. Always nice for a bit of variety. I don't know much about it, but the description seems to indicate some kind of horror elements, which is always a bonus when there's lady-on-lady -lady action. Nothing like the Grim Reaper having a cheeky peek before he takes one away. This does have English. One is one of the bigger visual novel releases of the year, if, like, if you're an importer. There's been plenty of smaller VNs or, or Tommy Gays, but uh, in terms of being a revered influential classic, one is a super old VN, and it was made by staff from Key before Key was even a thing. So while it's not as good as the likes of Little Busters or Clan Ad, it's still something VN fans need to read. This release does have English and comes in a standard and extremely expensive collector's edition. And our executive producer, Feig, has chosen this as their pick of the week. Sentimental Death Loop is releasing in Asia this week. Yeah, the third visual novel in this episode. I guess they want to cozy up for Christmas over in Asia. This one almost sneaked out without me noticing because Play Asia doesn't actually state it has English in the title like usual, but in fact it does. For that reason alone, I'm sure many people are going to overlook this one, even though I don't think they should because it seems to be a bit more involved than your standard visual novel with gameplay puzzles as you try to stop your own murder. And our executive producer, Cartoon Soren, has chosen this as his pick of the week. Japan also got some of these last week and is also getting some of these this week. And uh, none of them have English apart from one, but we have that already. Shocking. And that's it, guys. Uh, I could do the community spotlight, and I probably should because it would really help with Christmas ad revenue, but I've got stuff to do. I've got to take care of my daughter. I've got to cook lunch, guys. Got to cook lunch. So, yeah, uh, if you watch all the way through, you're a legend. Leave me something, a lunch emoji. Is there a lunch emoji? Just have a good Christmas, okay? Leave me a Christmas emoji if, if that's what you want because uh, I think the next episode, uh, the next Monday, is Christmas Day. And you know what? I'm going to be there, guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah.